Hello everyone, Mike here. Welcome to another Symphony tutorial. In this video, we're going to talk about required condiments. So let me sign in and show you what we're dealing with. I'm going to pick up our check. Now here in our breakfast section, we have the All American Breakfast. I'm going to ring one up for seat position one. And we have all these pop-up condiments that we have to select here. Now, we already have over easy, over hard, poached, scramble, sunny side up, but our managers asked us to add a hard boiled egg option as well. So let's go ahead and do that now. For this, we're gonna jump into EMC. Under the configuration tab, we have our menu item maintenance uh, option. We're gonna open that up. And as always, we're gonna click search to populate all the menu items. Now, in order to add another condiment to our condiment group, uh, we're going to look for another condiment that behaves the same or is part of the same group. We can scroll down through the entire database and find the section where we have all our egg condiments, or we can use the find key, which is the easiest and fastest way. You can find the find key here at the top. Click on the little binoculars. For the field, we're going to select the name. And we're going to look for one that already exists in the database, like over easy, because I know that one is there. Click on find next. And here we go. So you can click find next until you find your menu item. So I have here in the condiment section, I can see condiment group number six, a cooking style. And I have my over easy, over medium, and all the other options that you notice there. I can use either one of these as a template to add my hard boiled option. So I'm just going to click on the little rectangle here and select over easy. Here at the top of the screen, we have our insert key. I'm going to click on that. And then the task to perform is going to be add a menu item record from a template. Now using a template is very easy because I know it's going to inherit all the properties of this one, the over easy one, and I know this one works just fine. So for a name here, I'm just going to enter hard boiled. And now let's take a look at the record number. It's going to go to record number 106007. So if I take a look here on the left, I can see that group number 106001236 and then 7 will be right underneath it here. So that's perfect. It's going to be part of the same group. It's very important to pay attention which record number you're using so your database stays nice and organized. You don't want your hard boiled egg to go interfere with another group like a salad protein or something else. So once we're ready with the name and the record number, we're just going to click OK. Now our menu item has been added successfully and it says, do you want to add another one? We don't need one for right now. So I'm just going to click no. And here it is here at the bottom. Now, if we take a look at the major group, it's a modifier and the family group is part of mods. That's perfect for me. I'm going to go down to the definition record and take a look at the settings there just to make sure that everything is OK. The first name is hard boiled, which is good. You can enter an, a second name as well if you need to. The menu item class, let me expand this really quick, is modifier group egg cooking style. So it's part of the modifier class that I need to. And it has the main level and sub level I need. I'm going to jump really quick to the price record and we see that the price is zero. We don't charge extra for hard boiled eggs. So that's perfect for us. Now let's jump back to the client and take a look if that worked. First thing we need to do is hit a quick update to download the new settings. Sign in. Pick our check back up. And here we have our American breakfast here. I'm going to ring it up for position one, just as before. And there we go. We have our hard boiled egg uh, right at the top here so we can select it. So now let's take a look at removing one of the force modifiers from the screen. I'm going to ring up our American breakfast again. And what I want to do is I want to remove the sunny side up option from the screen. So let's jump back into EMC. So here we are back in our egg cooking style section. 
So I'm going to find my sunny side up and I just found it here in the list, but you can use the find feature again in order to locate your menu item. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the definition records. Now, I don't want to delete this menu item from the database because we might use it again in the future. And also we don't want to delete it because we would remove it from the reporting database and that would cause reporting imbalances. So in order to make it inactive in the system, what I can do is I can set the menu item class to none. To do this, we can click on these three ellipses here. Scroll all the way to the top of the list and just set the menu item class to none. Now setting the menu item class to none doesn't do anything to the menu item itself. It just tells it it's not part of any modifier group. So I'm just going to click save now. And let's take a look at our client and see if that worked. The first thing we need to do is click another update, sign in, pick up our check, go back to our American breakfast. And our hard boiled is here just as before, but as we can see, no more sunny side up. If you are interested in more Symfony tutorials, we have created an entire course where you can learn everything you need to maintain your Oracle Micros POS system. And as a special thank you, I also included a coupon code for you. You can find all the details in the description below. Leave a like if you found this helpful and thanks for watching.